What's going on guys, me David here back for another shave. Now if I look a little bit funny, maybe this eye right here looks a little irritated. Allergies just hit me. It has been a fantastic day. This is Sunday. Football was a very fruitful activity for me today. Sports in general, it's, it's been a pretty excellent day today. But I was chilling in the living room, playing with the baby for a bit. The baby's in bed now, but we have cats. I am allergic to cats. And when the allergens hit me just a certain way, it fucks me up. So I'm a little messed up right now. Like it literally just hit me like five minutes ago. Like there's, it's a weird situation. Sometimes I could be in the living room for hours. Maybe the cat, maybe they cleaned up a little bit better. Um, maybe they vacuumed up some of that shit and uh, it doesn't hit me today. It just hit me pretty strong here. Yeah, this eye, it's, it's burning. It feels like something's poking at my eyeball and I'm not a big fan of it, but whatever. Today, very, very special. Special salt coming in because it's one of my favorite bases. One of my favorite bases. And anytime I get anything from this company, it warms my heart. They know that they're one of my very favorite bases. In my top three. Where they fall in the top three, I don't know. It's somewhere in there. But on any given day, it could be my number one, my number two, or my number three. Today, I'm going to be shaving with Abby. That is right, Abby, 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 Abby. Does it have the scent notes on here? No, no, no uh, scent notes on here. But either way, it's from Murphy McNeil. It is in the fantastic teddy bear base. You guys know I love that shit. And guys, don't be one of those to go onto the website and look for teddy bear base because I know, in particular, Shady. If you're not very specific with what's going on, um, he just uh, gets all confused. You can't just uh, insinuate that it's something. You got to tell him specifically what it is. But look into the ingredient list. If it has bear tallow in there, that's right, bear. Um, that is the correct base. It is phenomenal. They also have the Aeon base. They know, I've been very honest with it, I'm not a huge fan of the Aeon base, but this teddy bear base, or Kodiak base, I think they don't have it on there, but the teddy bear base is amazing. It is a standout uh, formula out in the in the community. I love it. I, anytime I go to this base, it just delivers that little extra an experience. It feels great on the face. It's dense, it's creamy, it's slick. It's everything you could ever want in a soap. So here we go with it. This is gonna be an upcoming release. Now, this really does look appropriate for Halloween. Why it didn't uh, release for Halloween? I don't know. I think they kind of missed out on that, but that's a pretty fucking cool label, if you ask me. <sighs> Sorry, this right nostril is just totally clogged up, so gotta take that deep breath because I'm talking and not the appropriate amount of oxygen is making its way up. So, of course, I had my puck blooming. That is what I do. I got that darn Rob brush. Oh, that darn Rob. R.I.P. T.D.R. It was great. It was great. So I'm going to go ahead and load this up. And as per the usual, don't be a cheap ass. Load up nice and heavy. Don't get a, don't risk having a shitty shave just because you want to be a cheap bastard. None of that shit. Usually after I soak my brushes, I give two strong shakes. I usually find that that gives, uh, gets out the appropriate amount of water. You don't want too much water because then you will load up. You'll have to be stuck here loading absolutely forever. I do not load up based on time. I load up based on look. I have a certain look that I like to see in my brush, and that'll tell me that it is appropriately loaded. Let's check that out. That right there. This is what I want to see. I see this. I know I have appropriate amount of shave for my style. This is what I want. Now, some people could, and you could use less. You do not need that amount of soap. That is what I like to have on my brush. You could probably survive with a quick little 10 second load. I don't think you'll have a problem with that at all. But again, I don't, I, I don't want, there's no scarcity in soap. I want to make sure that I get that luxurious shave every single time. So go ahead. 
this brush right here, I bought this off of Neat Nipples from BBS Live. What, what Nate does is he keeps a very specific amount of brushes. I think last time he had, uh, I think he had uh, bumped it up to about 14. But if he wants to buy a new brush, he usually sells a current brush in his rotation to make room for it. I mean, only, the only way I get rid of a brush is if it just, I don't like it. You know, your preferences change over the year. You may like that brush for three years and then one year you just may not like it anymore but if it's a brush I still enjoy using it stays in my den and I just expand upon my collection I think I'm close to about 30 brushes now and that's what giving shit away like I've given a bunch for the starter kits you guys have heard me talk about these starter kits several times on the channel and um So, a whole lot of brushes have actually left the den because of that. Thank you to anybody that has sent stuff. Um, I really, really appreciate you. I am not going to list off names because it's going to be a few people. I don't want to forget or offend anybody. And usually I'm not worried about offending people. But this is actually something that's pretty damn important. So, I just want to say thank you. If you guys are one of the per people that have sent me stuff for starter kits, know how much I appreciate you. It is. They have gone to good use. I've given a good amount. Something that I need to stop fucking doing is I need to stop forgetting to take pictures of when I give these out. Because before I used to always have the kid hold up the brush, hold up the razor, and just be like, ta-da, I have my setup. And I haven't been doing that. So that shame on me. There's no real excuse for it. I just haven't done it. Today, I'm going to be using uh, the Carbon. What the hell is that? Oh, that's water. It looks weird. Uh, the Carbon. This is also something uh, that I have thanks to Nate and Mel over on BBS Life. I have so much hair that even after that with the green pass, it just, there's a lot left over. The razor definitely is getting clogged up. Ooh, that's a bunch. Look at that. That's something that I had to pull out of there. And it just happens. You should be shaving more often than this. That type of cloggage shouldn't be an issue most of the time but I am a hairy animal right now so it is going to be a little bit of an issue that's okay I know some of you guys don't like hearing the water it's just something you got to deal with today see look at that it is struggling and this blade, this is the last time I'm going to use this blade. I don't remember what blade it is, but it's already been in here. This is the third shave on this blade, so it's got to go. I probably should have changed it, knowing I have this much growth. Like, now that I'm thinking of it and actually seeing the result and how much hair I'm leaving behind, I, I really should have changed it out, but... We're already here, and we're just going to get through it. Damn. That is a good amount of hair staying behind. That's a trip. There we go. And then silly me is like I almost forget that I could flip over the damn razor. Oh, so I'm, gonna try, I'm trying to take everything down on one side. Bam. So what I was talking about, sports has been fantastic today. Raiders played against the division rival Los Angeles Chargers. It was so clogged up, it feels like nothing's happening. Holy shit. Yeah, that was too much hair in there. 
you can see all that hair left behind because yeah that, that razor there was no room left for any hair so the Raiders won and even though that it ended up being just a one score game if you actually watch the game it looked like a much more dominant performance um, the Chargers got a late score uh, because you know what happens when teams get a lead they start to cruise a little bit and that kind of gave them the opportunity to get a score but really the Raiders had them on their heels all day so if you're a Raider fan what's up to you then the Lakers played Anthony Davis put up 55 points in a win against Washington which also makes me happy and then last but certainly not least I continue to hold my first place position in my fantasy football league I won today once again first prize in this league is going to end up being I think it's like six something My record is currently nine and three. So I'm really hoping that puts in, you know, I, I could pull that off because that always helps. Beautiful. Look at this ladder. Look at this ladder. I will have the link to this. Uh, I think it's probably just some because this is not released yet. This is, again, once again, this is Abby. Uh, this is not released yet. There we go. Now that I knocked down all that hair with the first pass, or even though that first pass was a lot of going over the same spot, so it's probably like the sixth pass. Much, much better. I really should have used a straight razor for this one. Beautiful. So things are starting to, we're starting to ramp things up for the holidays. Now it is inappropriate. You know when it's an appropriate time to put up your damn Christmas uh, decorations? The day after Thanksgiving. Do not disrespect my favorite holiday of the year by putting all that shit up early. So uh, the outside decorations are up, the lights are hung, the Christmas tree is up and decorated. And as we speak, Rocio's over in the living room wrapping some gifts so we can start piling those in under there. And then, of course, over the next couple weeks, you'll start seeing that collection down there grow pretty significantly. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah, but the link to this listing will be in the comment or the, the description down below. This has not been released yet. It will be released soon. Well, at least it had a release as of a couple days ago. Um, I was driving in the car and I had a, a buddy of mine actually look it up online and see if it was out yet. No, it's still coming soon. Fantastic scent. Mm. I do remember on the scent notes there's some frankincense in here, which you can smell it, but it's not overpowering. It's not going to be a ridiculous, very strong, uh, like kind of Christmas scent. Well, I guess it probably is intended to be a Christmas because frankincense is very popular around the holiday, around Christmas. But just the so it's kind of weird to me because that label looks very Halloweenish, and maybe I just don't understand the meaning of it. There's probably a write up on that damn uh, website too. I'll, I'll look at it. I swear, but uh, I just haven't as of yet. Mm. Look at that shit. Oh, beautiful. I'm feeling like a new man already. I'm not even done. For those of you guys that are members of the Patreon, I will be doing a Patreon giveaway on my next video. I'm going to be giving away 
a set of PAA's Black Shroud. Uh, that this will be used one time. I do need to do a review on that. So the next video will be a review. I will not lather in it. I've been talking to people and apparently lathering in something and then giving it away is frowned upon by some people. Now, I think those people need to unclench, let the panties fall out of their butt cheeks and relax a little bit. But, you know, I'll go ahead and acquiesce to those needs. It's, it's reasonable. I think you're a little lame for that, but whatever. But we'll go ahead. I, I wouldn't want to dirty your soap. So that will get scooped. It will be, I don't know if I take a butter knife or some shit. I, I'm not much of a scooper. It's not really my thing. But I'll get like a butter knife. Take off a little bit of, a bit of a sample. Uh, just enough for a shave and then uh, the I'll go ahead and do a drawing oh fuck I'm supposed to be doing across the drain now I'll go ahead and do the drawing at the next of the next episode for the patreon So again, thank you to the patrons uh, for your continued support, man. I really appreciate y'all. Hey, man. Hey, that's the end of the third and final pass. I'm going to go ahead and rinse all this shit out of my goatee, and we'll come back for the final thoughts. All righty, and I'm back. Once again, I shit with the Abbey. So I load it in this tub. I rinse it out afterwards, and that's how it looks. So this was loaded in the tub, and that would offend some people. Which blows my mind. So this grosses somebody else. But there's probably one night when you were younger, you came out of a club, you probably fucking lick some girl's butthole after she'd been sweating all night, and somehow this bothers you. Like, you've had sweaty butthole, club butthole in, in your mouth at one point, and somehow this bothers you. This. I don't know. I don't get it. Maybe I'm just not that sensitive. Maybe I just, uh, I'm not grossed out very easily. And then, you know, so here we are. So, hey, the Abbey, what a fantastic scent it is. Again, I don't remember the scent notes because if it was like two, three notes, I'd remember them. But you do get that frankincense. So it does make sense to me for a, for a, for kind of a Christmas scent, but it is not overpowering. It is not sweet whatsoever. It does have some of that spicy spiciness to it. Not old man spicy, but actual like spices. And I think you probably get that from the frankincense. But definitely check it out. I like it. I really do like the scent, legitimately. This is something that will stay in the den. Ooh. Yes, this will definitely stand there. I do enjoy it. And I love the Murphy and McNeil aftershave splashes. They're some of the best in the business. They're up there with along with like PAA. Some, some of my favorite stuff. A nice, appropriate alcohol burn. That's what I love. That's what I desire. And that's what I will fucking use any chance I get to. So thank you guys so much. So again, hey, if you haven't already, you're interested in helping out the channel, go ahead and uh, check out the Patreon. And... If not, it's not a problem. I still love you. But those people that those that are our uh, patron subscribers, I'll go ahead and we're going to be giving out a almost new setting. I just got to scope out a little bit. I won't open the aftershave. I'll use another aftershave that I have. But this will have a little sample scooped out of it. And that's going to be given away. And I'll have it in the mail. I promise you. In a timely manner. So, hey, guys. It was a great Sunday for me. I hope you guys had a great Sunday as well. If you made it to this point of the video, you know how much I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for sticking with me and riding with me through all the fucking nonsense. I love you. I really, really do. With that being said, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll catch you on the next shave.